Well hi again, I've made some uh, progress on the nickel plating and uh, I want to show you what I've got so far. Okay. Okay, here's my solution. There's my two plates, I've just got two pegs to keep it firmly up against the wall. Um, so my two nickel plates, my nickel in suspension solution, I've soldered the two together, very simple to solder. Um, so I've got my positive to the plates and the negative will be to this fellow here. And I've uh, rubbed this link back and given it a good clean and uh, where am I? So I've um, set this up ready to go. Now remember uh, our current should be about 0.8 of an amp and voltage is really not that important. Let's get this uh, link out of the wax and grease remover and give it a, a wipe down and a good clean and remember try not to get it touch it with my fingers just till it's nice and dry. I did use um, a wire brush on it and emery and a little file on it and I've got a little bit of wire here just some flexible copper wire which I'll just put in there okay okay like so and we suspend that in the solution making sure you can see that fully suspended so I need to bend it about there and just, just hooked over like so all right let's make sure that you can see that and watch my little machine here as well and if I now switch that on Right, and so it's the current we're interested in, and uh, and we're talking about 0.8 amps. There's 0.85, which is about uh, nearly 0.8. As, as you can see, it's about 2.9 volts, and about 0.73. And you can probably, if I just lift you off that stand take you in a bit closer and see that bubbling away there okay so uh, the negative connected to the wire which is to the actual item I'm wanting to plate um, the pegs that I've got just to one side that you can see um, just pushing it, the peg is just pushing it off to one side and if you look at my the one on the left there is 2.9 volts with about 0.74 amps now I can tweak that up a little bit there's probably no point so the question now is how long do I leave it there and if I start a clock going we'll have a look at uh, let's say the three minute mark Again, just finally uh, negative to the item you need to plate, positive to the plates on the side in the suspension uh, liquid, which is the green color, and of course, the uh, I've got 2.9 volts. Okay, I'll just switch off for the moment and let's take a look. You can definitely see a difference in that. Can you see that? The light might not be great in here. Um, 
I would definitely like to keep going with it. Looks like a, quite a thin layer, silvery layer, but I'm going to let that go for a little while to try and thicken that up a bit more. So let's switch on again. And again, I'm at uh, 0.76 amps. If you can probably not see that because the light in here isn't great. Okay, that's six minutes. Let's switch off for a moment and uh, we might take it outside where the light might be better. And you can see what's um, been happening. So we lift it out. Uh, you can see the definite silver tone on it. Um, <clears throat> my feeling is that it needs to be a bit thicker still. Okay, and uh, if I let that go for another, let's say, six minutes, and we'll come back, I can just, um, it's more like I can just sort of see through that. Okay. So, and you can see the wire as well, and that's probably out of focus. Okay, let's put it back in. And I'm going to let that go for another six minutes this time. All right, switch on. 2.8 volts, 7.7 .7 amps, and resume count. And it's bubbling away. All right. So that there'd be six minutes plus another six to go. Let's come back to that. Okay, just approach the uh, 12 minute mark. So let's switch off for a moment and have another look. Okay, this is uh, the end result. This is 24 minutes and then a uh, very light scrub and uh, warm water with a, um, a light scouring pad. Just uh, one of those, you know, green that you get from the supermarket, the green scouring pad for dishes. Um, so, the, don't forget it'll take every mark of the original metal because the, uh, the layer, the thickness is only microns thick. As I said, I did do it for 24 minutes. That's actually not too bad. So I'll just let that sit for a little while, for a couple of days. It's actually raining at the moment, or, or it was a few minutes ago. And uh, just see how it copes with the weather. Um, I might polish the next one up with a um, a disc just to get uh, some um, to, to get a really clean finish so we'll have a look at that as well okay so that's um, that's what I've got it's actually it looks pretty good I'm, I think I'm quite happy with that could be better but I don't think it's the nickel responsible for that it's the the level of finish that I I'm, I gave it um, before I, I dipped it so let's uh, clean up another one using a flapper disc and uh, get, try and get all the scratches and all the um, you know the ears of uh, whatever that might be deeply ingrained okay let's try it again okay this is the uh, the second one that I've cleaned up using flapper discs and and a few more um, abrasive pads and um, emery cloths and, and so on um, to try and clean it. Plus I, uh, I dipped it in a solution of um, uh, muriatic acid 50-50 to water and then cleaned it in this uh, distilled water here. 
So I've put it in and uh, we're burning at 0.77 amps and it's been going for just over a minute. Okay, so we'll just wait and see how that goes. And uh, we'll give that three minutes and see how we go. Okay, you can see that bubbling away. Um, it's really a matter of cleanliness of the work that you put in. And so the acid solution was really to get some of the dark spots off the metal that I couldn't get off with, uh, you know, uh, uh, the emery, the uh, sandpapers that I was using. So to try and dig it out. And I only dipped it in for about 10-15 seconds and then uh, straight into that distilled water and over that again. So let's take a look at that. Uh, as I said at the three minute mark which will be in about less than one minute okay we've reached the three minute mark let's switch off and let's lift it out and uh, have a look It, uh, not sure, um, be nice to focus. Let's take it outside and have a look. I'll just hang it back on the hook for a moment. I don't know if you can see that clearly. I don't want to touch it just yet. Okay, it, um, I'm going to put it in for another three minutes. Actually, I'll, I'll leave it in for about 12 and then we'll give it a scrub. So, back on the hook. Okay, almost there. Right, 15 minutes. And uh, we switch off and we take a look and I'll just wash that and now I'll just go inside on the sink and give that a little scrub see see how that's come up again sorry about it, the fact that it's so dark um, so I'll give it a scrub and we'll take a look outside again okay okay so these are the two that were done and um, not sure what to make of it actually um, that's nickel plating uh, okay that's the first one the long one and that's the second one there which I polished up a little bit more um, oh. I don't know how to change the light anyway, any which way to, uh, to make it better to give you a better look um, so not, not, not as nice as uh, zinc plating but there you go oh I've got a zinc plated one here um, which came in just the other day. Different shade, of course. That's the zinc one there. Okay, and that's the nickel one, the other two. Let's try and get that out of the light a little bit. Okay, if you can see that. Okay, put, I'll just put that down for a moment and just try and get the reflection off it a little bit so you can see the warts on it or whatever um, I think that's okay um,
Okay, that leaves us with one final thing to do, and that's um, give these a polish with a <coughs> wire wheel and just a very soft head. 